Ready for your close up? For my close up? Your close up. No, we didn't we didn't talk about close ups. <laughs> all right, welcome to the bedroom, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This will be our first room tour in our new place. Everything is pretty much finished in our bedroom, so I thought it would be the first room that we welcome you to. And I want to have a special guest star, drum roll for Joe, um, just to hear his thoughts because we made two big investments for this particular room, which is the bed and the dresser. And um, we shopped for both of them together, so I thought we would get his thoughts on camera, and then after that I'll go ahead and walk you through the entire room and kind of tell you a little bit more detail about each piece. Um, so just kind of overall, now that it's kind of like home for us, how does it feel like when you walk into the room, what's the vibe to you? Uh, I, I think it's got a really nice, um, spacious, but um, well-decorated vibe in the sense that stuff sort of makes sense where it is. I've often been in condos where you sort of shove the furniture in and just try to make it work together, but we actually got a chance to think about it a little bit, so I really like the way it's it's come together and it, it just feels homey now. Yay, good. Yeah. Um, so let's just talk about the two big pieces. The lamps are mine. I already have those and Joe like them as well. Um, and then really what we decided to do was to make two big investments and then those two pieces would be the kind of showstoppers of the room and really make the room. And we got two pieces as well. They're both large sizes and I think they've just come together really well and they fit um, the room just so beautifully and really kind of make it feel decorated without needing a lot of extra little tchotchkes everywhere. So is that something that you like about the room? Yes. That's good. I kind of got that impression when we started shopping together that Joe really liked simplicity and so uh, we kind of decided to go the quality route for that reason. Um, and the other reason is that neither of us had a bed that we loved, right? So we wanted to get a new one that would be like new to both of us and work for both of our styles. Right, because Elle had this nice bed with a white headboard it was sort of tufty, and I think it's fair to say it was pretty girly. Yeah. Um, and my bed, which you will not have seen, is uh, was an IKEA headboard. I um, did see it during vlogmas at some point. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, it was an IKEA headboard that I basically had duct taped to a metal bed frame. Frank and bed. Frank and bed. Yeah, and then screwed to the wall. So it was fine. It, it worked fine. I thought it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was really uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, well, that was the mattress you didn't like either, but... <laughs> so anyway, we... So this is my mattress that we Yeah, it's, it's, it's better. So, um, so we sort of thought about, okay, what could we do with that? And we kept the idea of the sort of tall headboard, um, but we got one that's a little bit, as you say, more simple and uh, in a color that I quite like with, with the gray. And uh, we got the wings that you were really excited about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I looked at a lot of photos of hotel bedrooms, and a lot of hotel rooms that I had stayed in had very oversized headboards. And so I started wondering whether that's something that might fit in a condo sized room. And I think it does, as long as you really kind of make that the centerpiece of things. And once we found this particular one, it was just like it was a mixture of both of our styles because it doesn't have a lot of tufting, but it still has some texture and interest of the grid style to it. And I think the wings to me just make me feel immediately cozy and like the room has a bit of a luxe kind of classic vibe to it. Very neutral. Um, oh, something else I wanted to ask you about is the cushions. So I know you're not a huge cushion person and like decorative pillows and all of that, but you finally kind of found one that you get along with, right? Well, that's it's that's more because it's long and it's good to like sleep with. Yeah, it's actually like a comfortable one, so if you're reading in bed, it's good to prop up against. So I'll talk about that more in the video, but it's a good option, I think, if you want something that's not too fussy. And then the best part of all, I think, is our beautiful dresser. It was more than we were originally planning to spend, but both of us really um, love it and I just think it's such a classy vibe because it's um, multi mixed media it's got wood and metal to it and for that reason I think it doesn't feel too kind of ornate to you right? yeah and it, it goes both with the wooden nightstands and with the gray upholstered bed mm -hmm. so and it's got cool knobs that sort of remind me of the Jetsons a little bit but that's just the personal yeah no definitely it's it's some mid-century style yeah. so I think 
Um, it has exactly that vibe. A little bit industrial, but not too much. And just really showcases like beautiful wood and it's very like smooth and it's got that nice slide when you open and shut the drawers. I, like I was pulling, I, I was organizing them today. <laughs> it feels nice when you do it. Okay. I'm going to have to play with the drawers more, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I think that is probably it for our thoughts. Do you have anything to add? No. No? I think we've covered it. All right. Well, it's time for the grand reveal then. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for joining us. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see the rest of our room tour reveals. So if you'd like to see a tour of our new bedroom, then keep watching. Enjoy. So first of all, I'll give you a broad overview of the room from left to right, starting with the dresser, then the nightstands, and then over to our Grayson bed, which was purchased at Urban Barn, and it's a queen size in the dark gray color. You can see I really like the juxtaposition of the modern, mid-century modern style bed, along with the really classic nightstands and the dark wood. I think they complement each other really well, but also keep the room interesting. There are a few things I like to keep on my nightstand, like my Kindle, my glasses, my Lalique jewelry holder, and my little silver cat jewelry holder that guards my Azure Nouvelle pearls while I sleep. And then you can see the other side of the bed. I really love how these marble lamps tie everything together and add a little bit of lightness to the room. They're from West Elm. They were an investment, but they still look beautiful. And I think they add a little bit of an art deco classy vibe to any room that they're in. You can see Joe's side is a little bit on the more spare side with a phone charger, his watch stand, and his Kindle, which was his um, birthday gift last year. And then I've got some beautiful new sheets that I was sent from Parachute, which was a company that was new to me, but I love their mission to make sheets affordable and high quality for everyone. So this is in the powder blue color, which is that Cinderella blue that is so in right now in fashion, in the sateen finish, so they are just so incredibly soft and we've been really enjoying them. I think they really complement the muted tones of the room, but the pale blue kind of keeps things a little bit more interesting than an all gray palette. What is gray and a perfect match for the wall is the curtains that I got. These were such an affordable buy. They're from Wayfair. They are a linen type finish but there's something about this particular linen and trust me I did a lot of research on this that is heavy and doesn't wrinkle too much so you can see it has a little bit of texture but not too much and they're actually blackout curtains too which Joe needs to be able to sleep. I do think that a little sheepskin rug adds a little bit of coziness to any room. So this one is from Costco and it really bridges the gap in between the bed and dresser. So this is the modernist dresser from West Elm. Like Joe says, we both love the handles. They have a lot of texture to them. They're really nice to grip. And then the surface of the dresser is actually metal. So it feels really durable, really substantial, a little bit industrial, but overall the piece still feels very warm because of the heavy wood front and the way everything slides and gleams so nicely. I think it's just such a luxurious piece. It's one of my favorites from West Elm and I think it's very um, friendly for a couple because it's neither feminine nor masculine. It's just classy and neutral. And you can see I've decorated the top and I plan to switch this up, but I've got some geode bookends, a few of our favorite books and ones we're currently reading. On the right hand side, I have my current favorite perfume, favorite lavender candle from Lux a little tray from anthropology that uh, reminds me of my birthplace. So you can see I've tried to keep most of the surfaces decorated but still kind of sparse and it's finished off with my jewelry box from Pottery Barn which I will link down below as well. I think it adds a nice pop of color to the room actually which is then accented by the cushion on the bed which is from the bay from the bluebell gray line. So I will link everything down below in case you may find that useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see our further room tours as we go around and finish off the apartment. And I will see you in my next video.